Hello everyone, welcome to KK Human Anatomy and Physiology videos, a platform where you will get interesting and informative facts about human anatomy and physiology. In this video, we are going to discuss about the gametogenesis, that is the production of sperms and ova, and the pathway of semen, that is sperm release pathway. The gametogenesis is the process of formation that is production of gametes in sexually reproducing animals. We know that the male gamete is sperm and the female gamete is ovum or egg. The gametes are formed from primordial germ cells of gonads. See, in this, meiosis is the most important step because germ cell undergoes meiosis and produces haploid cells that directly develop into gametes. You must know the process of meiosis. I will take another separate video related to meiosis process. Let's talk about spermatogenesis. So basically the production of sperms is called spermatogenesis. This process takes place in testis. See the location of testis. This is the structure where sperms are produced. If you see the transverse section of testis, in that there are coiled structures called seminiferous tubules. Within these tubules, sperms are produced. At the onset of puberty, the hypothalamus of brain begins secretion of gonadotropin-releasing hormone. It initiates the significant increase in the secretion of follicle-stimulating hormone, that is FSH, which induces spermatogenesis. See the transverse section of testis. In testis, each seminiferous tubule is lined by a single layer of cuboidal epithelial cells called germinal epithelium. The cells of germinal epithelium undergo spermatogenesis to produce sperms. Process of spermatogenesis involves three phases, multiplication phase, growth phase and maturation phase. In multiplication phase, the primordial cells of seminiferous tubules undergo repeated mitotic divisions to produce large number of spermatogonia. Here 2 n min cells are deployed, okay? We know that each spermatogonium is deployed and with 46 chromosomes. Growth phase some of the spermatogonia stop dividing and grow in size to develop into primary spermatocyte due to accumulation of food. Maturation phase. It involves meiotic or reduction division. The spermatocyte undergoes the first phase of meiotic division that is meiosis 1 leading to formation of two haploid cells called secondary spermatocytes. Here, N represents haploid cells, okay? Spermatocytes are with 23 chromosomes each. The secondary spermatocyte undergoes second phase of meiotic division, that is meiosis II, to produce four haploid spermatids. The spermatid is non-motile and non-functional. It gets transformed into a functional spermatozoa, that is sperm, by the process called spermiogenesis. During this process of change, the spermatids remain held to each other and to the Sertoli cells by cytoplasmic bridges. The sperm heads remain attached to the Sertoli cells and their tails hanging in the lumen of seminiferous tubule. 
these sertoli cells provide nourishment to developing sperms during spermiogenesis length of spermatid increases centrioles are rearranged mitochondria become spirally coiled and acrosome is formed from golgi complex let's talk about pathway of sperm in male reproductive system there is one trick to remember it it's seven up its path is as follows seminiferous tubules of the testis epididymis vas deferens ejaculatory duct nothing urethra and penis as we saw the testes are where the sperms are produced here you can see epididymis it is a long coiled structure at the top of testes it receives immature sperms from the testes sperms undergo maturation in epididymis the release process starts when the penis fills with blood and becomes erect when ejaculation occurs sperms are forcefully expelled from the tail of the epididymis into the vas deferens mature sperms begin their journey by traveling from the epididymis to the vas deferens which propels sperms forward with the smooth muscle contractions the sperm arrive first at the ampulla just above the prostate gland here secretion from the seminal vesicle located next to the ampulla are added the seminal fluid is propelled forward through the ejaculatory duct towards the urethra as it passes the prostate gland a milky fluid is added to make semen finally the semen is ejaculated from the penis through the urethra let's talk about oogenesis it is the process of formation of haploid female gamete that is egg or ovum from the diploid germinal epithelium it involves the process of meiosis like spermatogenesis oogenesis process can be divided into three phases multiplication phase growth phase and maturation phase multiplication phase in this stage the primary germinal cells of ovary undergo repeated mitotic division to form millions of gamete mother cells or oogonial cells this process is completed in the embryonic stage of human females during growth phase some of the oogonia stop division and begin to increase in size and form the primary oocytes cellular organelles like endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus and mitochondria increase in number maturation phase the process is initiated prior to the birth of female baby the primary oocytes enter the maturation phase which includes meiotic division the diploid primary oocyte undergoes meiosis 1 to form two haploid daughter cells this division is peculiar in females as both the daughter cells are with haploid number of chromosomes that is 23 chromosomes but due to unequal division of cytoplasm of the two daughter cells produced one is a large cell called secondary oocyte and another is a small cell called first polar body the secondary oocyte proceeds meiosis 2 only up to metaphase 2 its division is further stopped or arrested at this stage the secondary oocyte is shed from the graafian follicle and ovary oogenesis occurs in the outermost layers of the ovaries here remember that the restart and completion of meiosis 2 will happen only with the entry of sperm 
this last phase is usually completed in the ampulla of the fallopian tube at the time of fertilization in this division also the two unequal daughter cells are formed the large cell is ovum and the small cell is second polar body the ovum so formed functions as the female gamete and is ready for fertilization completion of meiosis 2 and completion of fertilization go hand in hand if the secondary oocyte does not receive the sperm it is shed off along with menstruum hope you will find this video informative and interesting in my upcoming video we will talk about the process of fertilization that is fusion of sperm and ovum if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video for more update join the forum and group visit my facebook page for more information i have provided the link in description below have a happy learning